Hi, Monday the 22nd of July and we're here to look at the astrology for today. So let's get the chart up and we shall see what is happening up there in the sky. Okay, so the sun has moved out of Cancer and into Leo. <laughs> and it's at zero, 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 0002. Actually, this was uh, a couple of hours ago. But I think we should all feel the difference. So I, I'll tell you what, what you might be wanting to listen out for or feel out for. Um, we will begin to lose the theme of family or mother. And what we should find ourselves thinking is, well, you know what? I think I'll just look after myself or I think I'll just do this for myself or I think I'll just we we should become more aware of how we don't want to be walked on or disrespected or not have ourselves valued either at work or within the family it should be important that people do respect us and do value us and we want appreciation for that and there's nothing wrong with this. I think it's absolutely right that we have some pride and look after ourselves. And that's why others will. When we demonstrate that, then you, you will find that others do too. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that we should take this too far. But what I am saying is that we shouldn't have the unconditional loving that cancer has because that's up to cancer and if cancer wants that that's fine but when the sun moves into leo then we're looking at not giving unconditional love we're looking at okay well if i feel i am getting respected then i will give you what i feel is your respect as well um, and so it's um, Leo has a great way of doing this mutually. So if Leo feels that the audience is appreciative or the significant other is appreciative, then Leo will be appreciative back. OK, fine. Thank you very much for the praising my cooking or praising my new blouse or whatever. And then Leo goes and actually you cook a, a mean pancake or uh, you look great in that blue jumper. There, there, there is a, a an acceptance that if you make me feel good, then I'll make you feel good. And it's just instinctive. It's not deliberate. Leo knows that we should all have our moment to feel um, gratified and to feel as if we have recognition. OK, so um, we have. Uh, the moon now in uh, Aquarius um, and it has obviously gone past the opposition uh, and is as well into Aquarius. Um, right. Um, sorry, it's going that way. Um, right. Now, anything else here before we um, have a look at something else that I have been keeping an eye on? Um, no, I think what I've just I'm, I'm just looking through here and everything sort of seems quite we do we do have this opposition to Pluto still, um, which is great as far as I'm concerned, because um, Pluto helps us in terms of moving things on to what they must become. So I always think that's very useful. Excuse me. I am going to pick up this cat who is nudging and nudging and nudging me. This is my blind cat, as you can see. This is this is my gorgeous Freya. He has had an abscess over his eye, which is why he's got that, that scab on his eye. But apart from that, he is the most gorgeous little boy. Um, and it doesn't hold him back too much being blind. But I have to make sure that the other cats don't bully him too much. We have to give him extra love, don't we, darling? So I'm going to give you some extra love in a minute when I finish talking. He's nutting me going, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm just going to put him down again. Oh, 
There you go. Go and play with Bonnie. Bonnie's the beagle and they play together. Right. Um, okay. Uh, right. I've got as far as uh, Pluto. Pluto moved things on to what they must become um, and has a great way of producing the best out of something after it has destroyed the things that it doesn't think are useful. Um, it then sort of rebuilds or helps us rebuild to regenerate, shall we say. Um, so we've, ha we've had opportunities uh, to, to do that, hopefully, over the weekend. Um, and so hopefully things are moving into a different place. Whether that's good or bad, it doesn't matter. Pluto just says, look, let's just keep it moving on because it's heading in the right direction. OK, so accept that as good. Um, right. OK. I, I I wonder if you're interested in uh, the chart of, of um, Camilla Harris. Um, now, as you know, <laughs> someone was saying this, don't ask me to comment on American uh, politics because I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to American politics. I haven't got a clue. It's all double dutch to me. However, I do have a vague interest from time to time in looking at the chart of a particular person who is interesting um, in the eyes of America. And the reason that I wanted to look at Camilla's chart in particular was because if uh, she managed to go on and win the presidency of the, uh, of the um, United States, then I would be very interested in her as a woman, right, don't forget my my theory is the rise of the feminine. And I think any women winning places of authority, recognition, stature at the moment could be symbolism of the rise of the feminine. So please don't think that I'm in any way sort of putting one candidate for, uh, against another. I have done Donald Trump's uh, chart in the past. Um and so, therefore, I feel oh, that's. A, I'm sure people won't mind if I, uh, if I just do this one. Now, out of interest, really. Um, and uh, what do I think? Um, I think we have here a, a formidable lady. I'll say that much. Um, she has a moon in Aries, opposite, dead opposite. This is a full moon. She was born on the full moon. Um, the sun in, at 27 degrees of Libra. Now, that is quite a formidable aspect all by itself. She knows how to balance things. And she is in there wanting the battle, if that's the right word. She wants any conflict that she feels needs to be sorted out. She's in there right bring it on um so she's she's quite a masculine lady as in a young lady um and therefore has she got what it takes well, yes i think so um her chart is full of stuff that says that she can handle herself um she has at the top of her chart here uh at the midheaven um it, it's at two degrees of pisces I actually think that's great for broadcasting. I think she looks good uh, when it comes to the camera. Um, and she has a compassion for a wider and bigger audience. She also wants to serve. She wants to serve the wider collective. She's got planets up here that tell me that she is measured that um, she can be compassionate. I've said that already, but there's a second compassion thing in here. Um, and that she is willing to consider um, those who are downtrodden, less fortunate. I like this one because I think it's something unusual. So this is Vesta, the asteroid Vesta. Vesta is absolutely conjunct a mid heaven, two degrees, two degrees. Um, and I think this is, well, actually, I sh what I should do really is talk more about Vesta. Probably, I'll probably devote some time to it um, this week or something. But 
trying to put it in a nutshell. So Vesta is all about focus. She's about an internal focus and an ability to, um, by really kind of like staying with something and investing time in it and attention and paying service to it, um, is capable of giving great dignity just to humble service. So um, she is driven or, or finds or meets this energy when she is in the outside world, when she is in her career, when she's in her work. Um, and what this means is she will isolate if necessary. She'll live separately. She will not go along with the crowd. She will be quite independent um, whilst having this sympathy. So I don't know about you, but I think, well, actually, you know, these are probably the attributes that you would want in a leader. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think that's a great balance for the Aries Libra opposition with the sun and moon, because that is fighting spirit. <laughs> I think you'll need something to just do. <laughs> Calm yourself down a bit. You don't want to look like Margaret Thatcher, for those of us that remember Margaret Thatcher. I nothing against Margaret Thatcher, but you could tell <laughs> that she was not going to. She was in there for the uh, for the for the battle. Um, yeah, she's um, she has had a past, and you can look at this, 4th house, 10th house, this is where I'm getting this from, which has had conflict in it, which has had representation of different stratas, different uh, places in society, different thoughts, different creeds, different tribes, different um, different sort of, everything is represented there, bit of this, bit of that, bit of the other. Um, and I think that gives her a richness in terms of experience. Um, she understands a lot of the collective's differences, and so that might help her again. Um, and she has the nodes across her ascendant, descendant. This means this woman has a life which is extraordinary it means that she it has a karmic reason for being here and her ascendant so she is noticed and people won't forget her um this is a life which will as far as those she meets have an importance on them she wouldn't be important. <laughs> when I'm reading a chart, I don't always use the best uh, grammatic, uh, gra I don't use the best grammar because I'm so busy interpreting the astrology, my grammar goes out the window. Um. Anyway, so uh, as I say, I, I, I don't want to sound as if I'm just going to, let me just get down to the sh uh, stop share. I don't want to sound as if I'm promoting one candidate over another. Please forgive me if that's how it sounds, because honestly, I, I, I don't know. Do I do I think that she will win? Um, I have no idea. But what I've been able to say is that if she is elected, then those are the positive traits that I think would be useful um, for her presidency. And as a woman, can I say this as a woman? I think it'd be great <laughs> to see a woman be elected to the highest office in the USA that you know I'd like to be a, alive to see this happen so that's just a personal thing there you go we've had two one very short one <laughs> it's like oh no we've had three Margaret Thatcher and Theresa May and then that other one that raped like a few days we won't mention her um so come on America it's time there we go um right I'm going to end now before I start a war and people get cross with me. Um, stop recording. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.